Thanks for choosing King 5 tonight. I'm Madison Wade. We are cutting into regular programming right now to bring you the very latest on breaking news we've been following for the past several hours. Washington State Ferries has confirmed to King 5 the Walla Walla has run aground on Bainbridge Island. We want to give you a live look now from Sky King over the ferry right now as it's starting to turn dark outside. Washington State Ferries says initial indications are the vessel suffered a generator failure. We now know there are nearly 600 people on board. Again, this is a live look from Sky King as you're seeing tugboats heading up to this vessel. This is also a look at another ship. We know the U.S. Coast Guard is also there. This is the Kitsap Fast Ferry that has arrived to hopefully help get some of those 600 passengers on board off of that vessel right now and onto shore. We know that there are also buses lined up on shore near Bainbridge, and we know there are several tugboats there. The U.S. Coast Guard is also there. We want to show you the bus buses that have been lining up right near this ferry. The Walla Walla is aground. This has been happening for the past several hours. Buses are ready. We have a, a couple other images to show you, too. We've been talking to some passengers who were also on board when this happened. They told us that this, uh, this person came over the loudspeaker and told them that they had a issue with the steering, and then it said, over the loudspeaker to brace for impact. So several people we've spoken with on board tonight say that they're in good spirits. They're trying to figure out how to get off of this vessel safely. We did speak with one person. You're seeing a couple people here smiling. So a lot of people are in good spirits. Everyone was told to put a life jacket on and uh, wait for further instruction from the crew. Again, 596 people exact on board, 15 crew members on board right now. We're waiting to learn more exactly on how how they're going to get everyone off board, but here is one passenger we spoke with just some time ago. We thought it was a joke, and then over the intercom, the, the lights started flipper, flickering on and off, and then they told us to embrace for impact. And me and my partner, we were to the back of the boat, and so we had no idea, like, if we were crashing into another boat, and then we did just crash into, like, some dry land, so I think the boat just scraped, like, the bottom because we were in, in shallow water. <laughs> The Walla Walla was en route from Bremerton to Seattle at the time. You're taking another live look from Sky King right now at the Kitsap Fast Ferry that is now getting right up to the back of the Walla Walla Ferry. It is a, a boat that is there for help, uh, hopefully to bring some 600 people off of the ferry tonight. Again, a live look at the entire situation unfolding. This is all happening right off of the shore of Bainbridge Island. This was a ferry, Walla Walla Ferry, from Bremerton to Seattle. This happened right in the Rich Passage area. So a very windy, curvy area. We're trying to figure out exactly what happened. We've been speaking with Washington State Ferries tonight, working to get more information about what exactly led up to this. But we do know it was some sort of mechanical failure, a steering issue. This is another look at many of the passengers who were on board. They're, they're all wearing those orange life jackets. As you see, there's, there's a lot of vehicles on board, the Walla Walla too. So we are asking questions about how they're going to get all these cars off. Let's take another live look again as the sun is starting to set. So it's turning to be a pretty dark area right now. As we know, several of those boats around the Walla Walla are there to help get those some 600 passengers off of the ship tonight to safety. Again, many of these people were coming from Bremerton to Seattle. So there are buses lining up on shore that will take many of those people back to uh, Bremerton tonight or back to Seattle. But again, their cars are stuck on this ship. And we do know, according to the U.S. Coast Guard, that the tide is leaving. We know that the peak uh, tide is going to be around 8 p.m. tonight. I'm looking at a, a peak low tide around 8 p.m. according to the U.S. Coast Guard. I'm reading a tweet from them about an hour ago. So we are going to continue to follow efforts to get those passengers to safety tonight. Stay with us on air and online for the very latest. This is a very fluid situation. You can also download our app when we're not on the TV. Text the word app to 206-448-4545. We'll have the very latest for you coming up at 10 and 11 on King 5. Good night.
Thank you for choosing King 5 tonight. I'm Madison Wade. We're cutting into regular programming right now to bring you the very latest on breaking news. The Walla Walla Ferry is grounded. It is stuck. We are confirming that information from Washington State Ferries tonight. Some 600 passengers on board are waiting patiently to figure out how they're going to get off board. You're taking a live look now from Sky King. You can see through those windows so many passengers there sitting, waiting to hear more information about how to get off board safely tonight. The Kitsap Fast Ferry is that boat to the right of your screen that has been called in to possibly help get people off board. We are talking to some people on board who are telling us that they're working to assess if this Kitsap Fast Ferry will help actually get people on board tonight. And we do have an expert with the U.S. Coast Guard standing by now live to talk to us. So, Stephen, thank you so much for joining us right now. We want to ask you about the scope of a rescue effort like this. Uh, what is the U.S. Coast Guard working to do currently to get all these people off board? Hey there, Madison. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, right now, obviously, our paramount concern is the safety to the public and, and those members on board. Uh, we want to get them off as soon as we can, but obviously do it in a safe manner. Uh, so we have our vessels standing by to assist as needed. Uh, we're really hoping that uh, those Washington Pass ferries can uh, step in and get those people off the vessel. Uh, you know, unfortunately, right now, it's at the peak low tide. So at this point, the vessel is basically at uh, a grounded as much as it can be. So right now, is the timing correct in terms of possibly keeping passengers on board until midnight when the tide actually rises a little bit? Uh, we're hoping that we can get these people off as soon as possible. Um, that's just at a point that uh, some of the members uh, that are responding that have deemed that at that point the vessel might be able to refloat and get off of the shoal that it's currently stuck on. Mm. Uh, we're hoping at that point, you know, whether or not passengers are on board or not, we'd be able to uh, use the tugs that are nearby to then pull it off and get it free uh, and get it back underway. And Steve, what's the biggest concern right now for the U.S. Coast Guard with a rescue of this scale? Uh, obviously, all those people, the passengers and crew on board, we want to make sure they're safe. Uh, if, you know, if there's any medical emergencies or any personnel that need to get off, you know, we don't know if anyone's trying to go to an appointment or anything like that. We want to make sure that those people that ha need critical care uh, can get off safely. Uh, we have our crew standing by. We had a helicopter there, uh, you know, ready to assist with medical evacuation if needed. We also have our vessels there and our station boats standing by also to, to assist if needed. Yeah, the U.S. Coast Guard in, in massive force there tonight and Bainbridge to help get all these people off board safely tonight. We are so grateful for you, Steve, joining us live on King 5 right now to walk us through what you all are doing and how you are helping these people. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you. We want to go now live to some looks from the bus system that's in route right now in Bainbridge to hopefully help get all these people back to where they came from originally tonight. Again, we know this ferry was coming from Bremerton to Seattle when it got stuck in Rich's Passage uh, right around 6 or so, 7 p.m. tonight. We're working to get more information on exactly how they're going to get people to these buses. But this is a live look from our Jordan Treese, who's in Bainbridge right now. Uh, you're seeing many buses lining up, getting ready, getting in place for all those passengers to get off board and then hopefully home tonight. Again, as you just heard Steve say, they're working to get the passengers off as fast as they can, but this is a fluid situation. This is peak low tide right now, so the ferry really is stuck in place and Kitsap Fast Ferry is there. There are multiple tugboats that are surrounding the ferry right now as well, hoping to, to get more passengers off as soon as they can. We do know that there are uh, free food options on the ferry right now to hopefully feed some 600 people who are stuck on, on board right now. Uh, but according to Washington State Ferries, there's only two employees working to feed the some 600 people. So that process is slow moving. But again, there are plans in place to help all the people who are on board right now. We have seen many photos and videos of all of them wearing life jackets. We know 
for the most part, people are in good spirits. Initially, many people were scared. They were told to brace for impact after hearing from someone over the loudspeaker that there was a mechanical failure, some sort of issue with the steering, and that is when they hit the ground offshore of Bainbridge Island tonight. Again, and you're looking live now inside the ferry as so many of those passengers are, are sitting, they're waiting patiently for information. It's now getting dark outside, so not a lot of lights, and there's a, a lot of cars too on a, on this ferry. So we have asked Washington State Ferries how they're working to get the cars off safely too. Uh, we did speak with several passengers earlier tonight and I'm still in touch with this woman you're about to hear from, Debbie. She's telling me that they've been hearing multiple different scenarios of how they're going to get off safely tonight. But here's what she told me a little bit ago. We thought it was a joke, and then over the intercom, the, the lights started flipper, flickering on and off, and then they told us to embrace for impact. And me and my partner, we reported to the back of the boat, and so we had no idea, like, if we were crashing into another boat, and then we did just crash into, like, some dry land, so I think the boat just scraped, like, the bottom because we were in, in shallow water. <laughs> So many people were scared when this initially happened, but they said it was a low brace impact, so they didn't feel very many things. Uh, and then people were just now banding together to help each other, uh, you know, sharing phone chargers, making sure people were okay, sharing snacks, a lot of people in good spirits. Many people were actually coming uh, to the OL Rain game, to the Mariners game. Let's take another live look from our Jordan Treese, who is there on Bainbridge, taking another look at the Walla Walla, which is stuck again. You can kind of see on the left part of your screen, the boat is, uh, is stuck. That's where the main part of the boat is stuck, the front part of the boat. So again, this this is low tide peak low tide so that ferry has been stuck since about four o'clock that's an earlier correction i wanted to say that this happened around 4 30 p.m uh, we started to get reports of this during our five o'clock newscast and uh, twitter is full of people who are on board sharing their experience what they're going through tonight many people are in good spirits though they are of course now getting food we know a couple employees there uh, on the ferry are feeding some 600 people for free the kitsap uh, Fast Ferry, which you're looking at right now live on your screen, is right next to the boat. They're working right now to assess if both of the boats can line up to safely take some 600 people off board onto, not at once to the Kitsap Ferry, but little by little taking people off and then back to the, the Bainbridge Ferry Dock, which is where we've seen the buses tonight. So that's what we know about the process right now. Uh, we are seeing some people, it looks like walking off of the Walla Walla Ferry onto the Kitsap fast ferry. You're taking a, a live look here at what we're seeing. It's a little hard for me to see from my vantage point, but our producer just told us that uh, some people are getting off of the Walla Walla onto the Kitsap fast ferry. So multiple boats came to this, this area to rescue these people, to get them off safely. Again, no injuries to report. Everyone is on board. Everyone is together. Everyone is safe. They're working to get everybody off board tonight, though back home, hopefully as soon as they can. Let's take another look from our Jordan Treese, who is on Bainbridge, taking a look at the Walla Walla Ferry from a different perspective. You're seeing a tugboat there, a U.S. Coast Guard vessel as well. Passengers are on the Kitsap uh, Fast Ferry. If you look inside those windows, you're seeing some yellow, or not yellow, orange life jackets uh, flowing into the Kitsap Fast Ferry. So it does look like some passengers are making their, their way off of the Walla Walla onto the Kitsap Fast Ferry. Again, this is going to be a slow process. There are some 600 people on board. Uh, a lot of people need to know that this is going to take some time. So if you have loved ones on board, I'm sure you're already talking to them. You're already hearing from them, but you're taking a look now at some people leaving the Walla Walla Ferry, getting onto the Kitsap Fast Ferry. We also know there's multiple tugboats in the area, multiple vessels from the U.S. Coast Guard who are also there to make sure that this operation all happens very smoothly. I've been in touch with several passengers on board tonight. They are waiting patiently. Uh, they're working with each other. They're making a lot of new friends tonight as uh, people have been stuck on this boat since around 430 this afternoon. Again, this is developing as we speak. You're taking a 
a live look at really the first uh, sign of getting people off of the Walla Walla Ferry onto the Kitsap Ferry. We are going to continue to follow this. We have our Julie Calhoun there as well as our Jordan Treese. Uh, Leah is also working to talk to people who are on board and we are working with the Coast Guard and Washington State Ferries to get you the very latest information on what led up to this and what the plan is to get all of these people off of the Walla Walla Ferry tonight back to their homes. Thank you so much for joining us. You can always follow the latest on king5.com and we'll be right back here on air live with the very latest information at 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock tonight. Good night. Thanks for joining us. I'm Madison Wade. We're following breaking news right now. We want to show you a live look of the first round of passengers leaving the Kitsap Fast Ferry from the Walla Walla Ferry that was grounded earlier tonight. You're taking a look at several uh, tens of hundreds of people walking off of the Kitsap Fast Ferry right now. You're seeing them drop off their life jackets there on the corner of your screen. I am in touch with a passenger who's actually on this boat right now getting off to Bremerton she told me that these passengers are most of them who walked onto the ferry, those without a vehicle. So it sounds like the first group of people getting off the ground at Walla Walla Ferry are those who walked onto the Walla Walla Ferry from Bremerton to Seattle tonight when it was grounded around 430 outside of Bainbridge. So this has been a developing story we've been following for the past several hours. Again, this is a live look from Sky King showing the first round of passengers getting off of the Kitsap fast ferry at the Bremerton ferry dock tonight. So this is great news to see. We also have another live look from Bainbridge tonight from our Jordan Trace. Let's take a look here tonight. Uh, this looks like this is a live look of the Walla Walla ferry as more crews are waiting for uh, the Kitsap fast ferry to get back to the Walla Walla ferry after all of these passengers uh, get off of the ferry and return back to then take another round of people off tonight. So this is definitely a fluid situation, a developing situation. Let's take a live look again from Sky King of uh, many people getting off of the Kitsap Fast Ferry. Now we know what happened tonight around 430 was some sort of mechanical issue and uh, it was some sort of steering failure that happened. That is when one of the crew members on the Walla Walla Ferry told everyone to uh, brace for impact. Now, when we talked to passengers who were on the Walla Walla Ferry, they told me the impact was very low. They did feel the Walla Walla Ferry hit the ground uh, when, it, when it grounded, but they said that they were okay. They were scared at first, but everyone has been in good spirits now for the past several hours. We spoke with several passengers throughout the evening as their experience was unfolding, what they were dealing with. Uh, here is one passenger and what she told us. We thought it was a joke, and then over the intercom, the, the lights started flipper, flickering on and off, and then they told us to embrace for impact. And me and my partner, we were toward the back of the boat, and so we had no idea, like, if we were crashing into another boat, and then we did just crash into, like, some dry land, so I think the boat just scraped, like, the bottom because we were in, in shallow water. <laughs> So that passenger is Debbie O'Neill. I, I just actually got a text from her. She said she's walking to her car. Again, she walked onto the ferry. So her car is at the Bremerton Ferry Dock tonight. You're taking another live look uh, from our Jordan Trees, who is on Bainbridge, of more passengers inside the Walla Walla Ferry, moving about inside the ferry as they are uh, working to get more information about when they can leave, when they can get back onto the Kitsap Fast Ferry. So that ferry has now just unloaded all of those passengers at the Bremerton Ferry Terminal. They are going to head back to the Walla Walla Ferry for another round of passengers to get off. We have seen lines of buses as well that are there ready to take people where they need to go tonight. We uh, have that video for you right here. So again, you're seeing multiple buses preparing for those passengers to disembark from the vessel uh, at the ferry terminal and then take them either to their cars or to another area. But we do know there are hundreds of cars on the Walla Walla Ferry. So what we were told from the U.S. Coast Guard is uh, right now, about 30 minutes ago, was peak low tide. Around midnight tonight, that might be a good time where the ferry could actually be turned back on and could be uh, taken out of its stuck position. So maybe around midnight or so, they're able to move 
this vessel and get those cars off of the ship too. This is a very developing situation. You're taking another live look again from our Sky King tonight as many passengers are leaving the ferry. We know this this ferry was full of people, 600 passengers, 15 crew members on board. So this is the first round of people off the ferry tonight. Stay with King 5 on air and online for updates. You can always download our app, text app to 206-448-4545 for more information on how to download it. Again, stay with us on air and online. We'll continue to update you once we learn more from Washington State Ferries. But again, it's great news to report. The first round of passengers are coming off of the ferry that was once stuck today, the Walla Walla Ferry. We're going to continue to follow this and bring you more updates at 10 and 11 throughout the evening on king5.com. Good night.